Some of you have asked me to do the Excel 4 video um, because you were having trouble with it. I'm trying to do it again. Hopefully this time it will work. Um, it seems Excel keeps crashing on me. Anyhow, up here I've already put in here in cell A1, merge these cells and put payment calculator 4 and it's supposed to have your name. Put in date, item, price, down payment, loan amount. Put in rate, years, monthly payment, total interest, total cost. I put in here prepared for and I started off with the student um, example to save a little time. So uh, that uh, was who I started off with. I've changed a bunch of stuff from there though. I put in the price of 45000 Put in a down payment of 10000 gives me a loan amount is a calculator that says equals B4 minus B5. That gives that amount. I put in an interest rate of 6.5%. Put in the number of years is 5. Then here in the payment function, I have D2, the interest rate, divided by 12. In here, the number of payments, I have D3 multiplied by 12. And here in the present value, I have minus B6, the amount I'm borrowing, not the total amount, the amount after the down payment. When I click OK, that gives me my monthly payment. Here, I have the total amount borrowed is a formula, so I take 12 times this times my monthly payment. Let's go through the. I'll go through this formula again for you. Sorry. Total amount or total. Let's delete both of these. What is the total cost of the car? The total cost of the car is your the number of years, try that again, equal sign, the number of years times 12 times your monthly payment. That's how many payments you made, plus the down payment. That in, in equals, when you hit enter, the total cost. Now, how much of that is interest and how much of that is the regular price? Well, you take the total amount, so I hit equals, the total cost, minus the original price. Because you did put the down payment on, that's in the total cost. So there's your interest. Now we take all of this and copy it over here. And I'm going to copy it as the original, as the price, as the year, as the interest rate, and as the down payment. Now, I can't afford $684 a month. So, I've got to figure out how I can get this car for less money. So, down here in price, I'm going to see, well, if they give me a discount, maybe I can afford it. So, I go to data, what if analysis, down Goal seek and D15 is my monthly payment. I want it to be $225 and I want that by changing the price. I click OK. So if they really sell it to me for $21,500, I can afford it. Probably not going to happen. Well, maybe I could pay for it for more years. 
go here, go seek, again, 225. But this time it is by changing the number of years. Okay. Now, I can make it now if I pay for it for 28 year and a half years. Now, maybe if we change the interest rate. So we go up to what if analysis again. We go here, 225. And this time, we want it to be the interest rate. Well, if they pay me 32%, then I could do it. That's not going to happen. How about the down payment? Well, let's see what happens there. Go, we'll see. 225 and down payment. Okay, so it looks like I need to have 33,500 down in order to make my payment or have a negative 32% interest rate or pay for 28 years or have them knock $20,000 off the price of the car. None of those probably are happening. I guess we don't get our Cadillac. Hopefully this answers any of the questions you may have. If you have any questions, be sure to message me. Thank you. Uh, in course messages. Thank you. Have a great day.